Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take something that you create in Incredibox and download it, and then take your download and upload it into GarageBand. And then finally, how to take your GarageBand project and export it so that you can uh, load it into your iTunes or other music players. So, first I'm going to go to Incredibox.com. Now when you go to Incredibox.com, if you get a message that you need to load Flash Player, um, just click where it says here, and you should get a pop-up somewhere around here that says Block or Allow, and just click on Allow, and that should let you get in. So you choose um, which one of these uh, sound packs you want to use. I'm going to go with this one called the Love. And that'll pull this up. Got to wait for it to load. I want to skip the intro. So for this project, or if you've not used Incredibox before, these are your different sounds. And when you drag and drop them on these guys, um, they play these loops. So I went ahead and I've been playing with this earlier, so I kind of know what sounds um, that I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and drop those in. to notice uh, in Incredibox, if you look up here, you have this circle that goes around. Um, and what that's showing you is basically the loop cycle. Um, so I could turn all this on. And if I want to save what I'm going to record, I just click the record button. But instead of recording this all the time, I want to kind of put it in a sequence uh, so that it, it is going to build itself up. So what I'm going to do first is go ahead and get this guy going. Wait till the circle gets back to the top, and I'm going to click the record button to get the recording started. Now, when this circle completes again, I'm going to add the next voice. And again, I'm watching the circle as it gets back to the top. And every time it gets back to the top, I'm adding another voice. up here that there are lights uh, dashes and then they get darker. You've got to get all the way over to the dark one in order to have enough to actually record. So I'm going to let this go through with all the voices for a couple cycles. And now I'm going to go back and start to reverse the process. So once I hit stop, I'm going to get this window pop that pops up, and I'm going to click on download. Now when I click on download, it's going to ask me to enter a name. I would not suggest you ever enter your real name. So I'm just going to put, uh, 
Let's see. DJ MJ. DJ Mr. Jones. Um, and I'm going to call it MJ's in Creta Beat. Creta Beats. So I don't really need to dedicate to anybody. And then I click on this Go button. So when I click on the Go button, it's going to save the recording. And this is the progress bar. Now notice down here, it says generating your track can take up to two minutes. This is important. Your track can be used for private use, non-commercial projects, and student projects. Okay, that means you can use it. You can't sell it. Uh, that would be against the law. Um, and student projects, you're a student. So um, if you want to listen to a sample, you can. Uh, but I'm not. Now that I've read this, I'm going to click on this box. And then I'm going to click the download button. Now when I do that, it's going to confirm that I'm a real person. Uh, I may have to watch a commercial, but uh, when it, whatever it says here, please enter. I'm just going to type that down here. Chocolate. Okay, A. And then click OK. And it tells me perfect. And now I'm going to click my download button again. Now here, if I want to give it like a, the name I actually want it to be, I can put uh, Mr. J, Mr. J's Beats of Fire. And I'm going to save that to my desktop. All right. Save. All right. So once I've done that, I can get out of Chrome and that file is going to show up on my desktop, here it is, um, as, a, as what's called a WAV file, this .wave. But now I want to take that and put it in a GarageBand project. So I've got GarageBand open. I'm going to start a new project with an empty project. Now the WAV file is going to be an audio file. So I want to add a track that's an audio track. So I'm going to double click on the microphone. And there's my audio track. I'm going to close my library window. And then I'm going to grab the edge of my GarageBand window and move it over until I can see the file. Now, getting this in GarageBand is super easy. All I have to do is click on the file out on my desktop, drag it into GarageBand, and drop it. Now, once I drop it in, you'll see you get this gold colored orange file and it'll take a, a few seconds to upload everything. But now you can see there is that sine wave. And if I hit my space bar, this is the loop that I recorded in Incredibox. Now, if I turn the metronome on, that's pretty close to the metronome. Which means from here, I can go to my loop library and I can add my own loops to it. Um, now, obviously, I'm going to have to extend that to make it work. Let me pull my cycle button. sounds. Uh, not all of them are going to work, but if I find a sound I like, I can add it in. If I want to add a software track, I can add a software track and use either the pad controller or my uh, MIDI keyboard to enter my own sounds in. But it's that easy, you just drag and drop it. Now, uh, whether it's this project or any other GarageBand project, uh, if you wanna save it or put it in a format where you can download it to iTunes, um, what you're gonna do is come up here to the drop down menus and click on Share. Now, once you click on Share, you're gonna select this bottom one, Export Song to Disk. So you click on that and then again, you're going to give it a name. I 
I'm going to save it to my desktop. And this is important. You want to make sure that you have this saved as an MP3. Uh, the default is this AAC, but change it to MP3, desktop, and then export. You'll see your playhead move along. You might get a message that it's bouncing. And that just means it's converting from a GarageBand file to an MP3. And when that's done, that file is now going to show up on my desktop. So here it is. Now, if I want to save this so that I can download it uh, to my phone or my computer, the easiest way to do it is if you are in eClass and you log into eClass and mine looks a little different than yours, but if you go to G Suite for Education, it'll take you to your, your student Google Drive. Now, once you have the Google Drive up, all you have to do to put this in your Google Drive is click it on your desktop, drag it to your Google Drive, and drop it in this area. And it's gonna download it into your Google Drive. You probably have a lot less stuff in your Google Drive than I do. But now it's in your Google Drive. So when you get home over the break, you can log into eClass, you can go to your Google Drive, and from there, you can download it onto your computer and then uh, save it in your iTunes. Or if you're on your phone, if you can uh, get on a web browser on your phone and log into your Google Drive, you can download it on your phone. So, um, but once you get it as an MP3, it's pretty easy to either add it to iTunes or add it as a ringtone, or you can email it to people um, just as an attachment to an email. So. Anyway, that's it. So today, why don't you try, if you finish with, and you're caught up on all your assignments, get into Incredibox and see if you can record uh, something in Incredibox and then download it and then upload it into GarageBand. All right, if you have any questions, just let me know.